Is CA plus certification from Comtia only for help desk jobs? Or is there a reason why I'm telling you not to become Comtia A plus certified? Let's find out. My name is Christoph Pertz. I'm a senior IT manager and I have over 22 years of hands-on IT experience. Here on my YouTube channel, I talk about IT certifications and IT career related topics. So if you have not, please subscribe and hit that notification bell too. One of the most popular IT certifications is the CompTIA A plus certification. Thousands and thousands of people have used the A plus certification to get into information technology. By the way, down in the description of this video, I will post related links to CompTIA and study resources. So I hope those will be helpful and beneficial for you. It is one of the most recognized and valued IT certifications out there. And I frequently recommend it to people who are thinking of getting into information technology. So, but who is this IT certification really for? And what value does it provide? So there are two main benefits that CompTIA A plus provides. First benefit, studying for this certification gives you a very structured approach to gain that foundational IT knowledge. This can help a lot with going after roles in system administration, networking, or when trying to become an analyst as an example. So these roles have an emphasis on other areas, but that structured approach that the studies for CompTIA's A plus certification provides can really help you to have that foundational knowledge. So now let's take a look at the second benefit. Becoming actually certified in CompTIA A plus can be a career starting event, especially if you come from a non IT career field. And if you want to get that initial job experience, the A plus certification is there to help. So this initial benefit really of having that foundational knowledge being certified and being able to break into IT to get into IT, that's really the critical item. It could also be that some employers require you to be certified. And those are mostly the managed services providers that often have to just say our staff is XYZ certified, CompTIA A plus certified, Microsoft certified whatever it is. So that's really an area of the industry where these certifications have to be held by the employees. So these are the two reasons really that I want to point out for the A plus certification. I put a lot of value and emphasis on that foundational knowledge. So I believe if you want to have a competitive edge and secure long-term employment in information technology, that strong foundation is super important. So now let's look at the career changer aspect of this a little bit more. Before we go there, if you don't have subscribed to my channel, please do so real quick as it will help me with YouTube. So now let's get back to our regular programming. If you come as an example from a non IT career field and you want to break into IT using the CompTIA A plus certification and you want to aim for like a help desk or service desk type of role, then these are the roles and job titles you want to be look out first. So you want to look for service desk analyst, data support technician, help desk technician, desktop support administrator, technical support specialist, end user computing technician, field service technician, help desk technician, associate network engineer, system support specialist. Whew, that's a long list of job titles and I'm sure you will find more out in the wild because many companies are really making up these titles on the fly just to meet their internal needs. So don't be surprised. So that's a lot of job titles, but those are opportunities and those are the job titles you want to use when you go onto LinkedIn or Indeed and start searching for jobs. What all these roles have in common is really that they are often a successful gateway into an IT career. So the key is to build up some really foundational knowledge, then you pair it with a little bit of work experience in one of the roles that I just mentioned, and then you can move on into other areas of information technology very easily. The A plus certification really can be a game changer for you in that way. You would benefit from the industry recognition that it carries and the foundational knowledge of course as well. All the skills that you learn from studying and getting A plus certified, they are needed when you want to work in one of these help desk or service desk related roles. Do you need all the knowledge that you get from it? Probably not. So there's only a smaller number of employers that really require you to be certified in computer repair. So that's really where the origin is from the uh, A plus certification. So back in the day, it was really focused a lot on the hardware repair because technology was quite different to today. So that's where A plus originated and that's how a lot of people got into it. So quite a few companies back then required their hardware repair technicians to be A plus certified. 
Over the years this has changed. So now companies like Dell, HP, Lenovo and others, um, they send their technicians out to your office to repair computers or you ship hardware to them and then they fix it. So there's a less emphasis on the hardware portion of the A plus certification. But A plus, if you haven't checked, covers operating systems, troubleshooting, even a little bit of networking and information security as well. So again, it is a great benefit and really if you have it, it's good knowledge to have. So who else is this certification for? So if you want to work in IT but go straight into like a system administration or maybe a data center related, A plus can be really a key certification for you as well. Remember, there are some hardware in there, operating systems, generic network and tr troubleshooting. So critical skills in those jobs. Of course, you need a little bit more when you want to become a system administrator. So you might look at server operating systems or cloud services to really supplement it. But that's where a combination of those with the A plus certification from CompTIA can be really helpful. So in the intro of this video, I mentioned that the A plus certification may not be for everyone and I don't want you to take it. So who is that or what group of people should really consider not to take the A plus certification? So if you already work in information technology, be it in a help desk or service desk type of role or junior admin, the A plus certification will not necessarily provide a lot of value for you, especially if you know where you want to go. So let's say you want to become a network engineer engineer, then the A plus certification is not necessarily delivering the value for you. So there's a little bit of networking in there, but it's really not the main core of the certification. So this certification would not really help you. In that case, you want to look at the CCNA or if you want to start a little lower, the network plus certification from CompTIA as well. So those are really the cases where I don't want you to look at the A plus certification. You might go through some of the studies and really uh, target laser pick type of the knowledge that you want to obtain. So if you just want to grab certain, let's say, troubleshooting concepts, or you want to just have a broad understanding of computer hardware, just look at those areas, but do not go after the A plus certification. It will not give you that value that you need to move forward with your career. There's a second group of people where I do not necessarily recommend the A plus certification or where the value really is just not there. So if you already work your way through college and you have an IT related college degree, and it's really just about learning the basics. Yeah, study for the A plus certification, but do not spend the money or the time of going through this certification process. The value will just not be there. Your college degree has a much higher value, so spend your time there, rather go through. So some college programs like uh, WGU, the Western Governor University, they include IT certifications like CompTIA certification as well. However, those are counting as college credits for you. So there is some value here and in that regard it's not a bad thing to do it. But if you go through a regular college program to get your IT degree in one way or the other and uh, the CompTIA A plus certification is not recognized to give you credits, do not bother to spend your time on different areas and then really have that knowledge that way. So now that you can compare really between when is it helpful to just study using the CompTIA curriculum for the A plus certification or when it's beneficial to actually obtain the certification, I hope you really get an idea and understanding of what to look for with pretty much any type of IT certification. Look for the value that it delivers and then really make sure it aligns with your direction, with your career plan that you have in mind. So career planning is really important. It's not just go and get certified and get your first job and then start thinking about, okay, where do I go next? And just in case you don't know, I do offer IT career coaching where I work with professionals like you to really identify what are your goals and targets so that we can work together to figure out, okay, where do you want to go in information technology? Let me help you with that. Take a look at my IT career coaching. And if you're interested, let's make a coaching session happen and we'll see where we go from there. So what are your thoughts? What do you think of the A plus certification? So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.